Looking ahead, as mentioned, March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. And a Danbury mother is now sharing a very shocking diagnosis in an effort to uh, help out other people. Yeah, important work here. Mm -hmm. News 8 Sarah Cody takes us to Danbury Hospital for today's Connecticut Families Report. I wasn't feeling well. I had pain in my lower belly and my back. Anna Costa was only 44, under the recommended screening age of 45, when she was diagnosed with colon cancer. With no family history, it came out of the blue. The mom of two tackled the news with positivity. I felt like it was early, and I think just my personality, it's like, okay, what's next? Like, we just need to tackle it and, you know, take care of it. We're seeing more and more colorectal polyps, colon cancer at younger ages. Costa's doctor, Stephen Gorelick, with Nuvance Health at Danbury Hospital, caught the tumor thanks to a colonoscopy. According to new research recently released by the American Cancer Society, colon and colorectal cancers were the third most deadly cancers for both men and women in 2023. There's these red flag symptoms we talk about if you're having weight loss, if you're having rectal bleeding, if you're having pain that doesn't go away and persist, if you're having a change in your bowels, certainly you should see if a physician. Just a few days after diagnosis, Costa underwent surgery. Ten inches of her colon were removed. Six months of chemotherapy followed, causing toxicity in her hands and feet. It was like my hands and my feet were on fire, like boiling. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. But this paralegal is now cancer free and Gorelick says her story speaks to the importance of listening to your body, getting checked and catching this deadly cancer early. At age 44, at such a young age, if she waited and she just said, maybe this is dietary, maybe this is another factor, it would have been a different story. Costa will get frequent checks and scans and a colonoscopy every two years. She's grateful and honored to raise awareness to help others. I wake up in the morning and I get to live my life and enjoy my family and, you know, do things that I love to do. So it really does change how you, how you like view each day. Now, if you are a close relative of someone diagnosed with a colon cancer, be sure to get checked as well. And for more information, you can head to the Connecticut Family section of WTNH.com. I'm Sarah Cody, News 8.